welcome to the video. So today I have Brian and Chelsea here, and I wanted to, I was working out with them and I was like, you know what, I want to talk about a topic, because you, they have so much knowledge on just so much stuff when it comes to fitness, um, and then I have my own personal experiences. So today I kind of wanted to talk about the topic of almost like overreaching and just going way too hard when you're trying to lose weight and when you're first trying to lose weight. So the thing that I know that I met, I dealt with and like really struggled with was when I first started trying to lose weight, I thought that like the lower calories that I was eating, the less, you know, the, the harder I was working out, the more calories I was bringing in the gym, that was better, like by far than, you know, maybe eating a healthy amount of calories. Like for me, it was like the lower, the better. And I remember I was to a point where I was eating maybe 750 calories to maybe a thousand calories. And I was to a point, yeah, in a, in a day. And I would, and in my head though, I was like, if I'm not starving, I'm not doing a good job. Yeah. That's how I thought. Yeah. And I thought that that's what it took to lose weight because I had never learned anything about actual proper nutrition when you're trying to lose weight. Yeah. In my head, it was like, the less food you eat, the better you are doing. Yeah. And I just kind of wanted to talk about, you know, that mindset and how detrimental it really could be to, you know, your, you know, your prog progress that you're going to have because I know both of you guys are coaches, right? So I thought, like, do you guys have any stories of maybe people that have, like, tried to, you've tried to coach and they were just like, oh, no, I'll just eat less than that. You don't worry about it. You know, do you have that? It, yeah, it, it happens quite a bit for me. I, I work with mostly females. I would say I have, like, 90 to 95% females. I don't coach too many guys, and I think it may be a little bit more, I, I feel like it's a little bit more common with females. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, me, because like I'm basically the, a girl. The <laughs> <laughs> like the the under eating because they just see it as uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, see you I guys hear later. You. Have Bye. fun. <laughs> Enjoy your trolley trip. See you later, trolley. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's a very good point. We'll tell them. Okay. <laughs> I speak trolley later. in case you didn't know. We collabed with the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> who are you guys? Dude? This is going to be a great video. <laughs> I, I can already tell. <laughs> so I think the way a lot of women see it is just, you know, they're being more committed. And one of the things mm -hmm. that I've, I've yeah. noticed with them, and even with myself, when I eat just a little bit less calories, mm -hmm. one of the things that they don't take into account is when you're eating so much less, you are so much less active yeah. in the day yes. and so much less able to physically do things like your cardio. Yes. like. Yesterday, quick story. I kind of made the mistake because, well, I don't usually train in the mornings, but mm -hmm. I do like intermittent fasting to control my appetite. So these guys lift a little bit earlier. I lifted with them and I had not eaten yet in the day, lifted and then tried to do cardio. And I, like I was not able to keep up with them. I burned significantly <laughs> less calories watch. than them. Yeah, it was rough. And you know, today I did the same thing, but I had eaten. I was able to do twice the intensity on in, in the cardio session, and things like that add up. So you're not eating, not eating, not eating, mm -hmm. but then your your activity goes down and kind of negates that entire effort that you're putting in, and that's mm -hmm. one of the biggest Absolutely. detriments that I think comes out of that, aside mm -hmm. from the willpower aspect. It makes sense when you think about it, like because it depends how you analogize it. Like it makes sense that you would think like if I spend less calories, if I spend less money with my credit card, then mm -hmm. I'll build less debt, mm -hmm. right? So you're like, this will be better if I just do yeah. as little as possible but that's like the wrong way to look at it I th I'd say a good analogy I'm like the analogy guy you already you are. Are. that is oh what I do huh? I'm, I, my whole life is like a parallel version of other things I'm thinking of and stuff a good way to put it is um, by eating more calories not going overboard but eating yeah. enough calories that your body actually can function but you're, you're still in a caloric deficit exactly yeah but yeah 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 you're doing it healthy in the right mm -hmm. way what you're doing is like it's like think about like having like a uh, like a power strip of outlets mm -hmm. yeah because if you if you only eat like 200 calories you only get like two of those outlets mm -hmm. but if you eat what you actually need say yeah. you need like to you're cutting like 500 calories out of your maintenance yeah. so you're eating 1400 calories or something like that mm -hmm. then you have all the power strips open and you can actually plug things into it and use those tools mm -hmm. to do things. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, absolutely. Like, and like personally, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It is so easy when you are trying to lose weight to just cut, bam, to 700 calories and be like, yeah. all right, I'm losing weight. I'm Two doing great. Cardio, let's do but this. you have to understand. Think about the big picture. And I always say this, right? Sustainability. Yep. You're not gonna do that forever, and it's not gonna work forever. Mm -hmm. And I've talked about this too. You are gonna be damaging your metabolism. The long run is what you should be thinking right, about, right? Like the long game. What do you, what's gonna happen in three years from now? And if you if you continue doing 700 calories, yeah, you're gonna lose weight, and like that's great. But you're not gonna keep that weight off. It's not gonna happen. So really think about the long, the long, long, long yeah. game. And the the thing that I think really plays into this, and like 
why people feel like they need to lose weight fast is seriously like those weight loss shows and even just like weight loss Instagrams and yeah. people that don't really say what they did and yeah. they just show yeah. their 10 week transformation or their yeah. one year transformation. I lost 300 pounds in one year. You might have done that, but was it in a healthy way? Were you on a weight loss show that you had a ton of people helping you do that? And it's it's, re it's really hard to navigate. And like that's why I wanted to talk about this because there has to be, like you guys have to have so many stories of people being like, all right, this, you like saying you're the coach, right? And you're telling them, all right, you should eat 2,500 calories. And then they're head, they're like, all right, well, I ate 1,500 today yeah. and I feel fine. Yeah. And they just keep doing that and they check in with you a week later and they're like, hey, you know, like, I've been doing, like, they think you're going to be more proud They think of they're yeah. overachieving, yeah. which is, I mean, and it makes sense. And it's like, that's mm -hmm. awesome that you have that kind of ambition. Yeah. It's just, we need to, like, focus the ambition mm -hmm. on the correct things yeah. instead. So, like, instead of eating so much less, put so much more effort into your workout and really yep. actively try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, like, the thing that people think about, too, I think, is, like, it's the grind, you it's know? Grind, it's the bro. grind. Yeah, and like, yeah. Yeah. losing weight is, it, it's gonna be difficult, but it doesn't have to be the only thing yeah. that you do. Some people over dramatize it to make yeah. it more well, interesting for yeah. social media. Yeah, it, definitely. You get, in the, you get in the uh, mindset of like having to connect suffering to like progress. Yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. It's such a damaging mindset. Mm -hmm. Like, you wanna preserve your quality of life while you're dieting. Most that will make the entire process so much easier. Yeah. If you can mindlessly go through it, that like 12 weeks is gonna go so much faster yes. than if you're thinking about food every yeah. single hour. Like I can't stress enough yeah. how big of a difference that makes. And then it's, you'll approach it so much better too yeah. because you oh won't God, feel like yeah. it's like this giant essay at the yeah. end of the semester. You'll just be like, dude, it's just another thing yeah. I need to do. Yeah. It'll be slightly different like lifestyle. And then at the end of it, it'll be all good and I'll be lighter. Yeah, well the thing that I think of is like, why are you losing weight, right? What's the reason that you're beginning? And most people, right, it's because they want to improve the quality of their life. Like when I wanted to lose weight, I was sick of not being able to fit into clothes, mm -hmm. right? I know it sounds silly, but that was a huge thing, right? And I was mm -hmm. sick of not, like feeling like people were staring at me and I just wanted to live a more normal life. And I felt like I wasn't living a normal life. And then, so that was like the main thing. And then I just got sidetracked thinking, I want to lose as much weight this week as I possibly can. Yeah. That's my main focus. And I don't care how I feel. I don't care how hard I, how much, how much cardio I have to do. I don't care how little food I have to eat. If I'm losing more weight this week than I lost last week, I am doing good. That's all I, I thought about. I That's guarantee all I thought about. That was it. Like yeah. no family, no. No, like, I didn't do anything. Yeah. I would it, go to work, eat an apple at work. That's it. And I worked an eight-hour shift. Come home, eat like I would eat literally like 750 yeah. to 1,000 calories, and it was like in my head, it was like this is what I have to do, and it's a very unhealthy mindset to have this. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys have dealt with this too, but the thought of okay, I know that I'm losing weight in a very very unhealthy way. I know that I'm not doing this right, but when I get down to my healthy weight, then I'll you know do it in a yeah. healthy way because you won't. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna get down to your healthy weight and then binge back up. Yep. It happened to me. It's gonna. It, that's what happens. And that's the thing with us as humans mm -hmm. we have limited willpower yeah. like you're not a crappy person mm -hmm. if you give in like you you giving in and binging is a direct result of that restriction that mm -hmm. doesn't make you like less of a person mm -hmm. that is a, a real thing that people deal with yeah. willpower is limited mm -hmm. and not only do you take away from your willpower to not eat food you take away from your willpower to get things done oh, throughout yeah. the day you get mm -hmm. less productive and yeah. that has like a real very serious effect on your life and I've had so many people come to me from that position just trying to get out of that mindset mm -hmm. and it's tough when you've done it, it is. for months and months oh yeah and, months. and and you were talking to me earlier about some of this some of these ideas and yeah. you're saying like because when you were when you first didn't know anything and you were eating so little calories mm -hmm. you got used to that being like this is the way I should feel and this mm -hmm. is the amount of calories that I should eat to yeah. cut so then next time I cut I should be eating less than yeah, this to do definitely, better. Definitely. So like you, you, you even just like get yourself thinking that that is the right thing to do, mm -hmm. and then you get worse as you go yeah. and eat less and less and less. Absolutely, and like I can't stress this enough too that you are you should not be afraid of food. You shouldn't be afraid of food. And like uh, uh, people that are watching this might not really understand. Like what, what do you mean afraid of food? If you know if you've been where I've been, you know exactly what I'm saying. Um, you shouldn't be like let. Food shouldn't terrify you, and, and like going out with your friends shouldn't terrify you, and the thought of like hanging out with other people shouldn't terrify you, but that's what was happening to me. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people think of when they're losing weight, especially, and this, this is a lot of this for me personally, is going to people that are losing 50 plus pounds, like a ton of weight, right? They think of it as like all or nothing. Like, do, you have to you know drive, 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 dig, 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 as hard as you can, as hard as you can, as hard as you can, and then if you mess up, blow it out of proportion, go crazy, like you failed, right? 
I don't think that's the most sustainable way to do it. No. it all or nothing almost never works. I think it's finding that healthy balance and understanding you should not be eating 500 calories a day. I don't care what size you are, that's never a good idea. You should mm -hmm. at least be eating 1200 and I mean mm -hmm. that's, that that's depends. That's if you're a small Every, yeah, female. That's if you're a small female. Yeah. Like, that's why I always talk about finding out what your total daily energy expenditure is. I'm gonna link that in the description of this video. I link it in so many videos, but it is my best video I yeah. think I've ever made as far as helping somebody that doesn't know where to start, when to lose weight, or how to lose weight. Uh, like, as far as, let's like uh, wrap this up a little bit. What would you, like advice you would give to somebody, say like that you're coaching, right? And they're struggling with, they keep, you keep giving them 2,500 calories, this is what you should be eating, and they keep cutting it. Like, what would you say to that person? You know what I mean? I think the, the biggest thing that I do when I start encountering that is just asking them more questions about like, how's your day going? Mm -hmm. How are your workouts going? How's the cardio going? And when they start explaining to me how bad like their life is in general when they're trying to do that, I think That's it kind of helps them. That's such a good point. Get it. That's such a good like point. Like when they have to actually verbalize, like this is making my life yeah, worse. Terrible. But when they realize, that's such a good point because you yeah. realize that, okay, like they're happy because they're losing weight, right? They're like, yeah, I'm doing really great. But then you're like, that's okay, it. think about the other aspects of your whole life. How is that going? And then you're like, oh, I can't yeah, even everything tell else kind of sucks right now, yeah. but I'm losing weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I can't even tell you how many times I've had that conversation that's and really as soon as they get it, like. One of the things that you can do if you're in this position, whether or not you hire a coach, is just try to find somebody that has this correct mindset and like keep yourself in contact with them. Yeah. So they can kind of like give you a little bit of a reality check if you start yeah. to like go off track. So yeah. you can say, okay, you're right. Like yeah. this is That's not a good, a good thing point. for my life. Yeah. Because I've met there's so many people. Because I talk to people at my gym that I go to, and I. Like they, they're always like, they're like, well, I'm really inspired by you. And then I'll talk to them a little bit more and I find out how many calories they're eating. And you could like, you could see the fakeness in their happiness. And like, yeah. and then I'll really start to talk yeah, to them like, face. well, how's everything going? And they're like, man, like, I don't know how much longer I can do I'm this. I'm saucy to my yeah. family. Yeah. yeah. My girlfriend's And then I'm like, well, me. here, yeah. like, and I give them the information I just told you. Look up your TDE, you know, find that out because it will help you live a better life when you're trying to lose weight. Yeah. I just, I think that's 100% true. And I think Absolutely. just understanding, it sounds silly coming from all of us that are on fitness channels, but one of the things I harp on is like, food should not be your focus. Yeah. Food and lifting should just be a part of your mm -hmm. day. So mm -hmm. the sooner yeah. you can understand that, like the easier it gets mentally if that's not like the end all be all mm -hmm. of your existence. And it's gonna be so much less enjoyable going to the gym when you're performing terribly because yep. you have yeah. no calories. You can't get your muscles to feel like they're connecting. You can't feel blood gorging in your muscles. Yeah. You feel like as you're doing things, you're like bones are aching well, and, and tired. Your you joints look hurt. worse. Yeah. 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 yeah, you look yeah. in the mirror you're and you flat, feel like, like droopy yeah. and yeah. gaunt. Definitely. And it, it, so yeah. you, like you connect, like we talked about earlier, you connect like this very negative image with uh, working out and maybe you're thinking like yo I just gotta get through the grind then it'll yeah. be fun again but if you do that for 20 weeks you're gonna start thinking the gym sucks and the diet sucks yep. and then eventually you're gonna be like you know what my life sucks it ain't even <laughs> worth it you know yeah, what yeah. I, I'm wor I'm willing to just live overweight and, and screw the gym yeah which is not I the right agree. idea but like it makes sense I absolutely agree Charlie's back to give us some input oh. I know <laughs> oh, good point good yes, point good point Charlie I really really agree so the last one I would like you know what would you say to someone that's that's doing the same thing that has chips you know they keep cutting their calories like what what's your advice to them well like I just said like I think that it'll make you have so much less fun that yeah. you should try to add maybe one day or something be like yo I'll try four or five hundred extra calories from yep. carbs yep. go work out that day or the next day and you're gonna be like this was so much better I just hit yeah. like 60 pounds instead of Definitely. 45 pounds and then you do that again another couple days you try that that calorie burst again and then you're like maybe I should be eating more calories because my workouts are way better my cardio is a lot faster I feel like I'm burning more calories because yeah. I'm using those calories to get more work mm -hmm. done I, it all ends up it, it's really though just a mental trick though because yeah. right now you can be hearing all these things and be like that's logical yeah. but it's still messing with yeah. you so you really just have to make that first type step where you're like you know what maybe I'll eat 400 calories tomorrow and maybe I'll gain a pound of fat from it but I'm yeah. willing to try it Yeah. because then after you try it you'll see that you're not going to gain a pound of fat from yeah. it you might yeah. even yeah. lose weight yeah. like, more than likely you would end up looking better too yeah. like immediately yeah. whenever I tell people to, you got to eat this believe me it's weird I know uh, it sounds crazy you said you've been eating 1200 for the last 6 months try this 1800 every time they come in next week and they're like I lost two and two yeah. and a half pounds yeah. and I feel that? better yeah yep. Dude, yeah so and so like I personally think that this might sound silly but I personally think that one of the biggest killers of diets and people trying to lose weight is going too hard and trying trying they're trying too hard in in the aspect of cutting too low and I think that's that's one of the biggest things so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video hopefully I would finish it before Charlie leaves 
This is Brian. This is Chelsea. They both have YouTube channels and they are both online coaches. So I'll link you know everything down below. If you guys do want help, if you you know you're not able to figure it out, check them out. You know they can yeah. totally help you. I, help. I, I'll I'll happily be super active yeah. in this comment section yeah. too. Like if you guys have any questions, yeah. just leave them down below. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you know check it out. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that we all wanted to say. Oh yeah, look how buff I am.